Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So just done a 10 minute warm up. A few minutes to start, a cup of water. Didn't actually even eat anything, just had a little bit of taste of sugar on the tongue. And you always want to do a warm up for 10K because the pace is very fast. I won't win today because there's a future Olympian here, and uh, Ryan Cox, he's going to smash it, so that's good to know. So I'll just run the pace, use the Garmin, and uh, that's the secret. Know your pace, know your goal time, run to pace, think positive. Go oh, hi. So I ran a 35, 31, pretty happy with that. Um, my PB's for 10,000 is 34.19. Today was good, I could have definitely run a lot faster. Wasn't too sure, my watch was playing up a bit at, at uh, I was messing around with that, but it was good. It was good, great workout. Regardless of the time you run, whether you set a PB or not, as long as you're out there, it's the main thing. Doesn't matter if you're the first or the last, as long as you're out there, push yourself mentally and physically, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. So too many people are worried about what time they're going to do, so they don't do nothing. That's what emotionally cripples you. So you just want to be out there doing it now. It doesn't matter how fast you're running, if you're in a wheelchair or whatever, just get out there, do what you can do. People still coming in. These are some inspiration all these people coming in, because they're like, you know, 20, 20, 30 minutes behind us, but they're still pushing, so it's fucking awesome. These are people that inspire me, because they're not, you know, full-on gun runners, but they're out there doing it. They're out there doing it, so... Check out this girl here. Uh, it was cool, but it was so See? That's what I mean, man. Just get out there and fucking do it. No fucking excuses. So I got back from the run and uh gonna have some water now. That's what you do is you do your running race, a cup of water, early in the morning, 7.45 a.m. start today, and then Come back, or have you? I had my water is in the car as well. So I'm over a liter now. I'm gonna smash down just some blueberries. I'm gonna go for another little recovery jog or recovery on my bike just to spin the legs out. Um, and then smash down a big, big breakfast, 2,000 calorie plus brekkie. So that's what you do. Because if you drink too much water, if you drink more than a cup of water before a 5K or a 10K, it's gonna be buzzing around your stomach. So what you can do, what I did last night, is always have a bottle of water by your bed. I have this every night. And if you wake up, just have a mouthful of water, you know? have a sip but I always have a quart of water before my breakfast 100% always before I have that 1,000 to 2,000 calorie breakfast always have a quart of water beforehand 
just makes everything work so much better, recovery is better, and fitness is all about recovery. That's why doping products work so well, like testosterone, insulin, growth hormone, etc. They work so well because you can recover faster. You can get back out there and keep going. So, quarter of water before breakfast, and then smashing your sugars. Easy. So this is how I make a little sports drink. Just get about a cup, half or half a cup of, of uh, organic coconut sugar, whatever sugar you want to use. Put that in your, in your bottle. Just leave a little bit on the edge for the ants. <laughs> there you go, that's the ants and the cockroaches. Cockroaches have got to carb up as well. Put a little bit more in there for, for good measure. So I've got about 100 grams of sugar in there. I'm going to have that as a little sports drink. That's a cheap way to do it. And there's a lot more nutrition in sugar than sports drink because the sports drink got all the solvents and all the bullshit in there, colors, flavors. This is just fantastic. You can even add some vanilla in there if you want as well. But it just tastes good on its own. There you go. That's how I do a sports drink. Meal for go, quick snack on the, on the run. Get up to the mountain for a bit of a recovery job. I'm out lofty. Here's a good thing people say, oh, you're, 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 you're vegan, vegan no, I told that dogma, Harley. Bullshit. Dogma is opinion. Dogma would be questioning, no, dogma would be not questioning what's encouraged. Just go, oh, I eat meat because my parents said I should eat meat. Because, I mean, that's just everyone eats meat, don't they? That's blindly following dogma. Here's an example, check this out. So this little bird here, it's a noisy miner, just been hit by a car. I could eat this bird, couldn't I? I could eat it. Why not? Because it's, it hasn't been killed, it's had a good life, it's wild, it's organic, it's local, it's free range. It's just, it's just got hit by a car, it's, it's no bad deal. That is it, I mean, it just happens. It's nature. So what stopped me from eating this bird? Because it's fucking disgusting. I'm not a fucking dog or a cat. So, so what I'll do to the little bird, I'll put him under the tree, you know, and some real omnivore will come under here and go, Mmm, <laughs> lunch! And if I can eat the little bird, that's the cycle of nature. We're not designed to eat meat. Otherwise, when we see dead animals like this, we'll be like, Oh, yeah! And just tuck into them. But if this was a fruit tree above me, there's fruit in the ground, edible fruit, I'd be like, Mmm, give me some of that fruits. Does that make sense? So a vegan diet is natural. Eating meats is not instinctive. Eating meat is a learned behavior. Being a vegan is instinctive because when you see a dead animal on the side of the road, you don't want to fucking eat it, do you? You don't want to eat it. But a real omnivore's instinct is to fucking eat it. Go walk your dog. The dogs eat that shit all. They love it. Dogs are omnivores. Humans are vegans by instinct. Eating meat for humans is a learned fucking behavior. Think about it. Some people are like, oh, doing what? That's disgusting. The humans are meant to eat meat, and and by the way, make sure you wash your hands after patting that dead animal. <laughs> what fucking omnivore has to wash its hands after eating dead flesh? Why would you clean your hands after eating? <laughs> you know what I mean? Clean your hands, but then put the dead flesh in your body. Fucking insanity. Hello. Why did the banana go out with the potato? Why? Because he couldn't find a dodo. <laughs> Kicking back with my gut homies. Just done a... So did the 10k race this morning. Did the Mount Lofty. Fucking hungry as now, man. Getting pretty fucking ravished. There's no way, though. I'm going to eat one of these little guys. Anyway. Like, as if, you could, like, it's just fucking insanity, man. I'm a plant eater. Just like these guys. Hey. Little goatsy. Who wants it? Who wants it? Isn't it fun feeding animals? The goat, man. Come on, goat. Hey. I'm sniffing it. Checking it out. Come on. Let me come and You guys always eat this. Here we go. Here we go. Bit of nibbles, bit of roughage, bit of roughage to the old goatee, the old mountain goat. 
I love just hanging out in nature with animals. Especially just being out up the mountains. I fucking love it, man. That's why I live here, because it's just unreal. Unreal nature. Best training grounds on earth for cycling and running. Adelaide, Australia. Just unbelievable year round. Fruit's pretty average, but the fucking roads are just incredible, man. Just fucking unlimited. You could do a 200k ride every day of the year here, and you'd, you'd still be able to do different routes. It's just insane. Just insane. Give these guys some more stuff. It's just good hanging out, man. Like, you have to be so fucking undercarbed to be wanting to eat animals. You have to be so fucking hungry to want to eat dog food. That's going to be one of my next videos, is doing around eating dog food in public. Stay tuned for that. And feed the goats the rest of these little roughages. See you soon. Now you're friendly, aren't you? Hey, hey little one. Smash him back a bottle, Buzz. Smash it back. <sighs> Best thing to get a glass bottle. This old juice bottle. Just fill up with water. Drink it. Guzzle it down. Quart when you wake up, quart before lunch, quart before dinner, three quarts a day, plus a bit of a consignment drinking on the side. Have a little bottle with you. Sip when you need to. Keep your mouth moist. Good as gold. So day 12, lunch time. Pop this bad boy open and make sure I don't flick it on the MacBook. <laughs> you should see Fairly's MacBook. My MacBook. Don't tell warranty, but most time it's just from uh, fruit splashing in the keyboard. That one's alright. Got about two kilos worth of banana here. That's about 2,000 calories. About 100 grams of sugar. That's 400. About 100 grams of fruit straps. Fruit wise, fruit straps. That's about 2,700 total. A good solid meal. This is a, this is roughly the average recommendation for the average man. About 27, 3,000 calories for the average man. Well, actually, about 2,500 in Australia, I so. say. <laughs> so I eat more for one meal than the average man in Australia who's overweight or obese. Because the average man in Australia doesn't eat like us. They eat a high fat diet. 30% plus coming from fat calorie wise. The fat cheats, the fat you wear. If you want to get lean like a Kenyan, you got to fucking eat like a Kenyan. Lots of carbs. And we lean like a fruitini, you like a fruitini, lots of fruits. Pop this bad boy back. Put on some uh, some cycling videos on YouTube. Kick back, relax, savor the meal, don't rush it, enjoy it. Let's do it. Done, diddly done, man. This is what it's about. Just kicking back, chilling. I feel bliss. It's like you feel the fructose, just glucose, just going through your cells, just nourishing. It's like blissing out. I used to smoke bongs to feel like this, just calm and relax. Now, it's light up on the cars, man. Kick back, do a good workout in the morning. Get out of the nature, a bit of fresh air. Have some cars, man. Kick back, chill, chill, bro, chill. <laughs> It's the last meal of the day. This will tap it up about 600 calories. So about 4,000 calories today for about 900 grams of pure sugar. 900 grams of pure sugar today. Top it off a bit of juice. 4,000 calorie day. It's pretty warm today, so it's quite quite a good day for it. Quite a good day for at the dog park. Figs is stealing the treats. Figs is stealing the treats. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I've got a big case of carrots and beetroot I might smash through and make them to me a good deal. Clint at Organically Grown St. Bernard's Road, South Australia. If you want organics, that's where we get our stuff from. St. Bernard's Road, McGill. Organically Grown. Clinton is the boss. That's done for the day, man. Feeling very chilled out now. Looking forward to going to sleep. Alright, we'll see you soon. See you tomorrow for day 13.